Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Herculean Homeschooling. I'm Sarah, homeschool mama of six, and I have another Once Upon a Book Club unboxing. I just love my Once Upon a Book Club monthly subscription. The box is just so stinking cute in and of itself, and it's just a fun treat to do every single month. I love it. If you're not familiar with Once Upon a Book Club, it is a monthly subscription box that includes a book and three to four wrapped gifts that go along with the book. Inside of your book, it will have little stickers of when to open each gift, and the gifts all bring the book to life. It's really a lot of fun. The subscription cost is like $34.99 a month if you do month to month, and then of course they have like six month and 12 month packages if you would like to do that to save a little extra money. If you also like to save money, I would love, love, love for you to use my referral link. I will post that down in the description box. A huge thank you to those of you who have used my referral link uh, please comment down in the box and let me know how you're liking your subscription I would love to hear from y'all so if you have never seen any of my unboxing videos the way that I do this is when I get the box I read the book and I open the gifts along with it and then I rewrap the gifts and put it back in the box that way it's still a surprise for me uh, for my first time going through it and then I can share with y'all what the book box looked like and my thoughts on the gifts and the book this box is the February Adult Box 2021. They do have a young adult box as well. I've never tried the young adult box. I only get the adult box. This is what you see when you first look inside. I seriously just love their packaging. It's so fun. Right on top, you always get a bookmark and that bookmark says, Psst, to fully experience this box, remember to only open your gifts once you reach the given page and then their little thing on the back, their logo, I guess. And I really, really love and appreciate that they send a bookmark with each box now. And I don't know about y'all, but I'm always losing my bookmarks. So I love that I have a bookmark, and then typically I usually leave it in the book. So if I do wanna go back and reread it, I have a matching bookmark. They also send these cardstock cards. It has a quote from the book there this one says do your best that's all you can do by Allie Reynolds from Shiver so that told me the name of the book right out of the gate and these I always say this I never know what to do with these y'all I know some people put them in albums or some kind of hang them on their walls and stuff I don't know I wouldn't be heartbroken if these were not in the boxes anymore just because I don't know what to do with it so they usually just go right in the front of the book for the month so all some of these are well actually all of those uh, but I have more of these books are from the book club and so they all have this little cardstock thing in the front so if you have a great idea of what you're using yours let me know, or if you also are like me and would not be heartbroken to not have these anymore, let me know in the comment box. Next, we have our little catalog magazine thing. So it has the cover of the book on there. There's usually like a little Q&A with the author. Uh, it has the discussion dates and everything on there for when you can get online, and sometimes the author is there. Sometimes it's just a discussion. I've actually never done the discussions before. If you get this box and you love the discussions, please comment in the comment box and tell me why you like them and if you do them. And back here, it has a game, directions, and on the back of all of these, they have something fun that goes along with the book. Sometimes it's a recipe, sometimes it's like a Spotify playlist or something, and this one has a game that came from the book. So that is a super fun little magazine catalog thing. Then we get to our gifts. Look how cute that is. I love that they're all blue and matching. And we already saw that the book title was named Shiver. So here is the book. I think the packaging is perfect to go along with the cover art and the gifts that go inside. This book, Shiver, is by Allie Reynolds. And then they put their sticker on here. Sometimes it's like printed in the with the book and sometimes it's a sticker this one is printed I really like looking to see how much the cover price of these books are because so many times it's really close or within ten dollars or so of the cost of the box so I always think that's a great value when I can get the book 
and three to four gifts for the same or a little bit more than if I were to just go to a local store and buy the book itself. This book it looks like was specially printed for Once Upon a Book Club because it does not have a price tag on there and because this is part of the cover uh, that makes me think that these were special printed for them and so there's not a price list on there. It'd be interesting to look up what the cost of this book would be if I were to go to like Barnes and Noble or Amazon or something. It started as a reunion, it ended with a murder. Now typically I don't love reading this genre often. Not that I don't enjoy it, but I think about it too much. Are y'all like that? Like I start thinking about all these different things that could have happened or I start replaying what did happen and then it like gives me nightmares and it kind of creeps me out. So as much as I enjoy reading these, I try to limit how often I read them just because it puts my mind in a weird space. But this book, it was really, really fun. I wouldn't say it was horror or gory or anything. It was more suspenseful, like, who's the killer and what's gonna happen and um, I don't want to give too much away so I'm not gonna say too much but it's five friends that haven't seen each other in over 10 years and they're all snowboarders and so they end up going to this cabin up in France and again I'm not gonna give too much away but there is a murder and a whodunit type scenario kind of reminded me of clue I actually didn't want to put it down I kept thinking like okay one more chapter one more chapter and then I'd get through the chapter and be like ah, now I have to read the next one because I just had to know what was gonna happen so I read this in just over a day and it would have been less if I didn't have to sleep so this is Allie's debut novel, a full novel. She's written a few other little things, I guess, but I think she did such a great job. And I wanted to show too that they have signed nameplates that came in the box. And so I already stuck mine on there. I thought it'd be cool to put it with the about the author section. So I just really enjoy when they send us a signed nameplate as well to go with the book. All right, that was a side note, back to the book. I would give this book four and a half out of five stars. This is definitely an adult book. There is some language and some adult themes, so be aware of that if you're interested in ordering Shiver. The first one came on page 152, and it says, there on top of the folded pile of clothes lies Saskia's lift pass. My hand shakes as I pick it up. Look at that cute little bag. It's got like snowflakes all over it. And this is, oh good, it's just a sticker. Sometimes they're like printed into the material, but I like when it's just a sticker because then I can reuse the bag for something else without this random page number on it. <laughs> um, so this is the lift pass. Little card inside obviously goes with the story to make it look like a legit ski pass but this is like a really nice lanyard that I could use for lots of different things. Uh, we just had our homeschool co-op start and we have to wear a badge, so I might switch this to be my lanyard for that. And then the writing on there comes from the book. So I think that's really cool that they have the actual words from the book, the paragraph that we were reading to get the gift printed on the lanyard. The next one comes on page 198, so you can see they always put these little post-its and they have different sizes to fit. This one says, she reaches into her pocket and pulls out a black scrap of cloth. You mean this? I noticed the symbol in the corner, the white lightning bolt of electric eyewear. Hey, that's my goggle cloth. And here is the package for that one. And I was, you know, even in the video, you could probably guess what's inside with this shape and everything. This is another sticker so I can reuse the bag for something else. And inside, a pair of snowboarding goggles. Maybe skiing too, I don't know, just outdoor snow goggles. And then it also has the goggle cloth that has the little lightning bolt symbol on there just like the book describes. And then the writing on the outside of these goggles, just like the lanyard, it has the writing from the book on there. I've never been snowboarding or skiing before in my life, so I don't know if or when I'll use these. 
maybe if we get another snowmageddon in Texas, I will be better prepared. Uh, my sister is a big snowboarder though, so maybe I'll see if she would like something like this uh, for her collection. The next gift comes from page 313, and that one says, Heather sucks in her breath, clearly recognizing it too. We reach the stairs that lead up to the function room, and once again, I smell perfume. Dread pools inside of me. The music is coming from up there. With reading that, I assume this is going to be perfume. Oops, yeah. Thought I was holding it upside down for a minute. Isn't that pretty? Look at that packaging, and it's like you're up in the Alps with them snowboarding. And so it has the picture, it was cellophane wrapped, and then when you open it, it's this clear bottle of perfume, and it says Saskia Black Orchid Vanilla Fragrance. And I feel like perfume is kind of a bold choice See how, it, oh there, sprays nicely. Because it, um, I feel like it's a bold choice because perfume is so subjective, right? The different scents. It smells nice, it's not too heavy. I don't really get a lot of vanilla scent from it. It smells more floral to me. But that could just be my nose. I don't know, but I think it's really lovely. I will definitely try it out and see if it works. Okay, little tip with your fragrance. If you spray it on your wrist and let it dry and then lick it, if it tastes sweet, then that means that that fragrance works with your body chemistry. If it tastes bitter or sour or anything other than sweet, uh, then it doesn't work with your body chemistry, so don't wear it. So there's your little tip about perfume wearing from a homeschool mom. <laughs> to do with that what you will. But I am excited to try this and I'll let you know if it tastes sweet or sour on my skin. But it smell, it does smell nice. The last gift comes from page 318 and this one says, I hand her the coffee and wait until she finishes it. I'm not gonna read more than that because I don't wanna give anything away. So here is the box and I was kind of nervous reading about coffee because I'm not a coffee drinker and we just got a French press a couple months ago in one of the boxes uh, so I was kind of nervous no is it gonna be another French press but it's not it is a mug the little sticker is the same quote that I just read from the book then you open it and there's a little I don't know is that for like tea or something or make sure coffee grounds don't get out into your drink I don't know, y'all help me out here. <laughs> what is this little thing that goes in here? I feel like it's a filter of some kind, maybe for tea, but I don't know. Maybe coffee needs it too, I don't know. Okay, so I thought that was it, cause that, um, then I put it like that, but then when I put it in the box, this like lit up and said the temperature. I don't know how to get it to do that. <gasps> See, oh, how did I do that? Oh, so you touch it? All right, I don't know. It didn't come with directions. <laughs> so all I could see is that maybe it tells the temperature of what's inside. 17 degrees Celsius. I don't know if we can change it to Fahrenheit. Let me put some hot water in it and see what happens. All right, so I just put hot water in my mug and and you can see, so it's going up, the temperature's going up, and it looks like I just touched the top and it'll tell me the temperature inside, but I can't see a way for it to like stay on or anything. So maybe it's not supposed to, I don't know. So I, I've never had a mug like this, you guys, so help me out here. So I just like <laughs> touch the top and then that way I know the temperature inside, uh, or is there more to it than that? So it didn't have any directions. That might be something I would want to add is, tell me how to use this, like in the direction. Because I wouldn't have known that that was even there 
unless I had touched, except for when I was putting it back in, I accidentally touched the top and then I saw the numbers pop up. So I was like, oh, there's like something magic about it. Um, and it's not super hot on the outside. So I think hopefully that means that it'll be a great thermos. I definitely use these for like hot chocolate or you could keep soup warm or something. So I will be using that for sure. And I think it's just cool that you can see on the top the temperature inside the thermos. Those are the four gifts that went with the book. So let's see, the first one, the ski lift. The ski lift part was fine, but the lanyard is great. I can definitely use that again. The second one are the goggles. Not being an outdoor sports, sports person, I probably won't use those goggles. And I don't know the quality of my friends and family that do outdoor winter sports, probably already have their own or they might want a higher quality one. Um, but I thought that they did match the book really well. And so that was cool. And I can use the cleaner for my own glasses. The third one, the perfume, I do like the scent of the perfume. And then the thermos I thought was great. And I do like that it tells the temperature inside. So three of the four gifts, I will definitely be able to use on a regular basis. And then it's just those snow goggles that I probably won't. Overall, I thought this box was awesome. I love the book. Again, four and a half out of five stars. And I would highly recommend it to others and then the gifts, three of the four gifts being really usable. So I really enjoyed this box. I would love to hear from y'all what you thought of this box down in the comments down below. Let me know what gift was your favorite, if you've read this book or if you would like to read this book. And if you have another book that you're reading right now that is your favorite, I would love to hear that also. If you would like to see the January unboxing, you can go ahead and click that video right there. But before you do that, don't forget to hit my picture over here to subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see y'all next time.